Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer. Hi Shy. Um, bringing you, uh, an update video. It's been, I mean, you can see on the screen, it's been 52 days and 22 hours at the time of recording since I last uploaded a video. Um, a lot has changed in those 52 days, so, um, what happened basically? So, as some of you know, I bought a house, um, moved in out of the apartment, moved into the house, um, had to make some repairs of the house right off the bat, um, get unpacked, all that sort of stuff. I've had some work stuff going on, and um, I had some problems with Francie, and I'll talk about all of that, and talk about the little fuzzball that's in the background walking around right now, because she's not used to being here, so... Um, so yeah, so, I moved. I moved out of the apartment, bought a house that's three bed, two bath. I'll do a house tour at some point. This is actually my dedicated office that I'm set up in and recording from, so this is the background you're going to see for quite a bit. I am going to eventually get a green screen. Um, that's on my to-do list, is to get a green screen so I can not always have this in the background. I also want to put some closet doors on the closet because I'm not super thrilled about that to be perfectly honest. Um, behind me, I've got all my display knickknacks and Pokemon games and cards and all sorts of other stuff that um, I've collected throughout the time. I'll do a full house tour um, at some point. I don't know when, but I will do one. Um, I just need to continue to adjust to some of these life changes that I've had. Um, I even have these guys plugged in. Gotta plug my lights back in. Um, I haven't, I honestly haven't recorded or streamed or anything um, since May. Shy. It's okay. Um, so, yeah. Um, there's a lot <laughs> that goes into buying a house um, from inspection, from uh, the paperwork to get ownership title work, the uh, taxes, the setting up of utilities, um, the carpet that was originally in the office, the bedroom, and the, what I'm calling guest room, was this really gnarly, like, tealish green, um, I don't have a good, I didn't take a picture of it, and I don't have a good, it's, it was kind of the color of the WWC draft slide um, green, like this top green. Um, oh, you can't see my mouse. Around the draft recap um, words, it was kind of that green, and it was old and like from 1999, I think, the original carpet. So it was gross, and I had to get that out. I put down this new gray carpet that you see here in all those rooms. I had to redo the blinds. That's one of the new blinds right there. Um, because the previous owner's dogs had destroyed almost every single blind. I had to work on some lighting um, issues that we had. I had to work on a dryer vent, had to get a dishwasher installed, which took like three days, four days to do the dishwasher because we kept doing it wrong. Um, I had to put a fridge in. Um, I still have a whole list of projects to do, so but I kind of have to space those out month by month because of the fact that um, money, you know, a lot of expenses when moving. A shit ton of expenses, especially when I had to buy a fridge and a stove or a dishwasher. I still need to get a stove at some point. And just a whole bunch of, whole bunch of stuff. Paint walls, yada, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, as I make improvements, I might do a vlog series where I go through the cycle through the pictures or something. Um, as I do some of these updates and make this house mine. Um, I was very fortunate I don't have a loan. Uh, well, I have a loan, but I don't have a loan, basically. My parents are paying for the house, and then I'm paying them back over the next 15 years, uh, which is fantastic and amazing, and I don't have to pay interest, so I'm very grateful to my parents for that. I'm grateful to them for all the work, the help and work that they've done to help me move over the last <laughs> two months, so... So that was event number one, was that whole thing, and just the mess. And I just, 
I didn't have time to build for WWC. I wasn't having fun in WWC either because I wasn't having time to build and rushing teams and just losing. So I ended up just forfeiting the last two matches of the season after I played Ian. Um, ended up technically going winless because Huff gave me a win in week one and then I lost my remaining nine. Worst I've ever done in draft league, but... Um, it is what it is. I'm not super concerned about it, so... Um, we're at the end of Gen 8. So then the next event that happened, um, which is still kind of fresh, it's actually been a week um, today. Um, you all know how Francie had health problems. Um, she had seizures that I was treating her for. She had that tumor that was growing on her side. And over the last two or three months, that tumor's growth just accelerated. Like, it was growing faster than her body could keep up with. She was starting to have some trouble walking. Um, she wasn't in pain until the last day. Um, but the tumor was growing so fast that her skin started to rip. And she'd bleed and then it'd scab over. And I'm sorry, this is a little graphic um, for some people. Shy, it's okay. You can sit with me in a second because I need to introduce you. So, unfortunately, Francie is no longer with us. Um, I had to make a very tough decision about a week ago, um, exactly a week ago, um, to put her down. She was sore. She was, I'm pretty sure, toxic. I'm pretty sure that all those cuts that had opened up and scabbed over were infected, and she had a fever, and she just... I tried, I did everything I could, I took her to the vet, they did an ultrasound, it was non-operable, uh, terminal, and I just did everything I could for her, but it accelerated so quickly that she went downhill so fast. Like, Monday she was ultrasound and okay, and Thursday night I'm putting her down, so it was, it was very difficult, um, I had a very difficult Fourth of July weekend, um, parents were out of town, and I was in my new house alone. And you know, she was she was nine years of my life that is now gone, and she was four years of your guys' lives if you've been watching since the beginning, because she was in so many of my videos. Um, and so it was, it really sucked. It really hurt, and I'm going to miss her long, long time. For the rest of my life, I'm going to miss her because she was such a good dog. Um, but, not to move on from that. Shy, come here. Come here, Shy. Time to introduce yourself. And then you can go back and lie in bed. Come here. Come here. Come here, Shy. Come on up. Say hello. Look right here. Shy. Hey. Oof, butt. Hey, get the camera. Over here. Shy. Oh, you just want to live up to your name. Huh? Here, here you go. I'll, uh, I've got pictures in the server, and I'll pull a picture of her up here in a second. Let me slide your bed over so you're closer to me. That way you don't feel so isolated. Here. Uh, hey. Oh, jeez. Goofball. Come here. I've had her for basically 24 hours now. Um, I got her last night. Uh, I had all, I've been saying for months that I wanted another dog. When I moved out, I was going to of the apartment and could have a second dog. I was going to get a second dog because I'd have my own house. And I felt really guilty about Francie because she was spending almost nine hours a day in a kennel by herself because I was at work. And she's old and was old and sick and I didn't I didn't feel good about it I felt like a horrible owner and I wanted to get her a friend and so I was working my way through dogs and that's part of why I was also away for quite a while in June was because I was just having dog after dog after dog come and meet Francie and she could not do big dogs <laughs> absolutely could not do big dogs freaked her out um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up pictures of Shy here 
So this is shy. Oops. Uh, so yeah, this is shy. This is. Whoops. That's uh, that's a secret thing I'm working on. No, 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 no. Those are all things that shouldn't have been shown because I was working on something. Uh, there you go. There's a good picture of her. So yeah, that's shy. That's the my new dog. Um, but I wanted to get Francie a friend, and Francie got to meet Shy about three weeks ago. And then, unfortunately, Francie passed away before Shy made it here because Shy had to be spayed and heartworm tested and microchipped and all that good stuff. So, but Shy's the newest member of the Weather Gamer family. Um, I'm gonna let her get settled in and adjusted to life. And then I will be getting a second dog again. But yeah, so. Unfortunately, Francie's no longer here, but we do welcome Shy into the family. So, what is going to happen going forward as far as the channel, myself, kind of where are we looking at? Um, I finally have home stability. I have a bucket list of updating and repairs and things to do that I'm going to be doing on and off. But I finally have stability for home. You know, I moved from my parents' house to my dad's work during the pandemic, back to my parents' house, to an apartment, to another apartment, to this house. I've moved six times in two years, which has been a lot. But I am glad I'm finally stable as far as um, the living situation goes. Work has pretty much stabled out. I've been working at the Toyota dealership for over a year. Um, actually, almost 14 months now. Um, and uh, um, sorry, my brain just stopped. I do potentially have a position change coming. Um, there's talk of me, I basically have until tomorrow, the day that this is being recorded, I have until tomorrow to decide whether or not I want to become the body shop manager um, and move out of the service department. It would be a substantial pay increase, a lot more responsibility. I'd only be working a half day Saturday instead of a full day um, every other Saturday. It'd be, you know, probably seven to six most days because it's... Um, Salaried, not hourly. Uh, that's still to be determined between myself, the owner, the other, because I'd be co-managing the body shop, um, the other body shop manager, and um, all that. But so that may be coming. There may be a little bit of instability from that. But once that settles in, then work has locked in, um, and basically life is just kind of where I want it to be finally um, stable and I can be happy so happier um, I'm still going to mental health bi-weekly I cannot stress enough to people how important therapy is if you need it if the therapist you're seeing didn't work out or isn't working change your therapist just keep going I went through seven or eight therapists before I finally found one that I clicked with three years ago and it has been a huge improvement to my life for that so I cannot recommend therapy enough to people as long as you find the right therapist that understands and knows how to help you so there's that so what is going on with YouTube then because I've been on and off for the last two years pretty much you know I took a huge two huge breaks last year um, I took the one in January February um, when I was having some mental health problems. And then I took the huge one <laughs> when I moved into the new apartment. And then I took a huge break again this time when I moved into the house. So what is, what is my plan going forward? I have been doing YouTube for four years now. And I've made the decision that I either do this right and get serious about YouTube, or it's time for me to stop doing YouTube. And so I'm going to be getting serious about this. Um, 
I'm going to start learning how to edit my videos. I've got DaVinci downloaded. I just need to start watching tutorials and learning how to do it. Um, part of my problem over the last few months, especially since last year when health, Francie had her first health scare and I thought I was going to put her down, was I became so focused on I need to make sure Francie has a good life at the end of her life that I put a lot of things on the back burner and then use it as an excuse not to get things done. And so that's not going to fly anymore. I'm going to do this right. I'm going to balance it correctly and make sure I'm doing um, things that I want to that are going to work out. So I'm going to learn how to um, edit videos. I'm going to work on getting my lighting set up correctly, get my recording set up correct, um, get better at Photoshop for making thumbnails. Um, I'm gonna change up the music because I know I've been using the same music for almost four years now. I actually, there's, a, you can't see it because it's hiding behind my camera, but I have this new folder that just has tons of music, well, not tons, but has a lot of music that I want to start integrating. I'm gonna start taking stuff out that's been in there forever, looking for new sources of music, and doing more test recordings to make sure that um, the music is correct. Did my lo-fi kill? No, there it is. It must have just been in between songs. I thought my music had killed. Um, as far as content, I'm still going to bring you Pokemon content. I love Pokemon. It is a huge part of my life. It's been a huge part of my life forever. I need to grab something off the uh, display case because I forgot I got this during the two months that I was AFK. I did, and I'm very, very careful with this because this is super expensive card. I did get a Celebrations Gold Charizard card. This thing is heavy. And I mean, look at that. That is just clean, but it's going to stay in the case. So I, I'm not joking. Pokemon is a massive, massive part of my life. So. Um, I'm still going to bring content. I'm NCL's getting ready to gear up for draft. I'm in Zeb Strike of this season. I finally took Ian up on his offer for promotion, so I can't um, dodge that anymore. I've reestablished the front office. Um, right now it's just a few people, but um, I'm going to hope to reinvigorate my play because I have not enjoyed things since the BRL run that just fell apart. Um, so, um, new team, new mons, new voice, and find the fun. I did NCL Emolga, which is a Little Cup league. Um, it's kind of their off-season Little Cup in between um, main seasons, and I enjoyed the ever-loving hell out of that. I actually went out into playoffs in that, surprisingly, and had one of the better records. Um, I had so much fun trying different mons and different things. I mean, I had, we, weather in Little Cup is pretty much banned, but I had manual sun, full send manual sun. I had setup sweepers. I had neat, I had a little fun time with Mantike and rain, constantly rain dancing and just going burr with Mantike. Um, Helioptile being kind of the mid ground between the two. It was, it was fun. It was really, really fun using that team. And so I want to use more fun stuff, stuff I haven't necessarily used a lot in the past, um, and just explore. I mean, Gen 8's almost done. And I will say Gen 8 has gotten super stale. But with Gen 8 coming to a close, Gen 9, I will do a um, Scarlet Violet playthrough. I'm going to start covering Scarlet Violet news more. Um, I'll bring Draft League. I'm actually going to start the Road to 802. 902, um, and, which I won't finish before Scarlet and Violet come out, so it'll probably become the road to, uh, I'm going to guess Scarlet and Violet give us 106 Pokemon, so I'm going to call it the road to 108, um, 1008, sorry, um, and then go from there, um, I want to bring back Minecraft. I'm waiting. There's Trixie Blocks, and if I remember to link his channel down below, he does tons and tons of Minecraft stuff, updating people's famous 
Minecraft players bases creating custom castles all sorts of stuff he's created a 16 million block world that he's dubbed the USW the ultimate survival world filled with lore and treasure and custom biomes and map or uh, villages and temples and shipwrecks and story and lore galore um, that I'm going to buy once he's finished with it. I think he's got three biomes left. He's been doing this for over a year now. Once that's up, I'm going to host it on the server and have a massive Minecraft party um, exploring that because I love Minecraft and I'd like to bring that back. I'd love to bring Cards Against Humanity back. I'd love to just play games with friends and chill and you know, go back to the way it was during the pandemic when I had arguably the most fun I've had during my YouTube career, where it was just nights of streaming and playing games and just just having fun. I miss it. I really do. It has not been super fun since I went back to working after the pandemic um, lightened up a little bit. And I'd like to go back to that. So Pokemon content, Minecraft content. I'm going to do the weather content. I'm going to start doing my content about my book. I will play other games. I might revive Retro Reactivated. I don't know. I am going to do some more YouTube stuff. Um, WWC is pretty well over at this point. We're in week 10. So I'm not going to do any more coverage for WWC. Um, we're going to start that over. But I am determined to revamp the way I'm doing YouTube and all that. Because I, I want to do this. I want this to be a serious thing that I'm actually doing because I want to. I, in the last three years, I've lost what I started the YouTube channel for. So it's time for me to buckle up and redo that. Uh, there's going to be changes to the uh, Weather Gamer server. I'm going to be clearing some partnerships, probably looking to repartner with some other leagues. Um, and uh, uh, my partnership with uh, BRO is not going anywhere, or LDL. I like those two leagues. I like Dix, I like Jet. Um, it's just some of the other leagues that I never did anything partnership-wise. I'll probably just... Bye. I'm going to revamp the server. Um, and that Some of this I'm going to do, and I'll talk about it when I go to streaming. Uh, talk about the streaming side of things. Um, some of this I'm just going to do live streaming even if nobody wants to watch I'll just go through and start changing things um, just sitting and streaming for fun um, so yeah that's where I sit as far as YouTube goes streaming I want to get back into streaming more um, I'd like to make the push I was gonna switch over to YouTube gaming um, I may still switch over to YouTube gaming I don't know I'm not super thrilled still with Twitch, but I at least know how to stream on Twitch right now. Um, so I might just stream on Twitch while I learn how to stream on YouTube. Um, but I'd like to stream two to three times a week. I'd like to stream, you know, either Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or... Something like that, because a l part of my problem over the last few months is I go to work, I come home, I get on my computer, and then I just start binging YouTube or um, anime or Disney or whatever. And that's just leading me to have a very boring, secluded life. And that's part of why I don't think things have gone super well over the last couple of years with YouTube and Twitch, because my heart's just not been in it. And my heart is in it now. Um, again, moving and losing friends, he really kicked me in the nuts, basically. And made me go, okay, let's go. I'll be 28 in November. You know, it's time to go. It's time to either get off my butt and do this, or go be a recluse off in the woods. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to do more streaming. I'm not going to worry about if I've got zero viewers or not. I'll just have it sit there streaming. I'll talk to people that are there. Um, and if need be, I'll just stream and do busy work. I'll stream and do the uh, road to 902. I'll do... I'll stream myself learning how to 
do different things on YouTube, making fun. I don't know. I'll just stream to stream, see what happens. I'd like to stream with friends um, and have fun with that. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna, and for those that might be a little rusty, it is, you know, twitch.tv slash um, the weather gamer. Um, so we'll be, we'll be back here um, doing this again. I need to really get after panels and updates and um, I need to talk to Penguin about some of this stuff because I know he's been doing a lot of this lately and getting into it and um, have him give me a hand with it too. So um, eventually I'll get to opening card packs again. Um, I just haven't done that because it's expensive and owning a home is also expensive and I had a lot of other financial things, but I'd like to go back to opening packs as well. So there's just, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to do. And now that things are starting to slow down and stabilize out, um, I'm going to find a balance. I'm going to spend time streaming YouTube, all that good stuff. And then I'm also going to spend time for myself. You know, I'm going to take a couple nights a week to just sit, relax, enjoy time with Shy, who's being a very good girl, sleeping in her bed, um, meal prep work out, you know, take care of myself on the side, so it's been a very rough couple years for me, um, I'm sure a lot of people have picked up on that, I haven't let it on nearly as much as I probably should have, but I have struggled for almost two years now with this whole YouTube and life thing, um, that sounded a little dark, just all the things that have come from moving out of my parents' house, so. I'm coming back. Bear with me. It's going to be rocky for a while while I learn some of this stuff, but I'm serious about this. I'm serious about taking care of myself, learning how to make better YouTube and Twitch content, and going back to why I did all this. It's never been about the money. It's been just having fun with friends and providing fun for others who need a little entertainment, so. I'm back. Insert, he's back. Harry Potter gifts all over the place. Um, but yeah, thanks for everybody that's hung in there, stuck around, checked in with me, all that good stuff. Um, just bear with me. There's a lot that's gonna be changing and all that but we'll get there so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging out and i will see you guys next time